this bird bath is a work of art. It's just one of the pieces you can see this Saturday at the University of Wisconsin Washington County Festival of Arts in West Bend. I love that. That's Beautiful. a really cool bird bath. And here with more on everything that's happening at the festival is Dr. Paul Price and Sue Bausch. So nice to have both of you. Thank you so much. This. I, I know that people probably put this on their calendars, mm -hmm. and this is a must-see kind of event for people to go to. You call it a celebration of the arts. What makes a festival of arts, in your opinion, different from, say, other arts or fairs? Well, in this case, we have a whole variety of things going on. First of all, we have 50 professional artists coming. You can see their art, but you can also buy their art. Plus, we have high schools and middle schools from around 30 places throughout the county and beyond. They are displaying their art, plus they are also competing for awards for their art. We have our own photography contest. We have seminars running. We have performances running. We have a farmer's market going. And is there anything I left out, Sue? <laughs> <laughs> I knew this year we also have uh, art make and take it for oh, children. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah, so they can get involved. Mm -hmm. That's neat. Well, and there's lots of pieces. You mentioned that there's over 50 artists. There's over 500 pieces. And we kind of saw that bird bath. But what are some of the other items and the other types of professional artwork that we'll see? Well, it is a juried fair, mm -hmm. which means the committee looks over all the applications. And we really try hard hard not to have all of the same type of media. We have a, really a wide variety of media, uh, drawings, paintings, photography, and then uh, we go into like batik and fiber artists, wood from wood carvings to wood uh, chopping boards mm -hmm. to uh, small pieces of wood furniture and uh, mosaics. It's just, it's really a, a Is neat... Is jewelry included Jewelry, too? yes, yes, it yes, okay. yes, yes. Metal sculpture. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Pottery, really too. Pottery awesome. Awesome. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's incredible. Um, the student artwork portion of it sounds interesting. How does that work? That's actually a contest. Mm -hmm. It's open to uh, area middle and high schools and uh, this year, it's our largest uh, response ever. We have 31 schools from five counties participating, and they can each submit up to 15 pieces of art each school. So when you walk down the hallways, we have them arranged by city. So you'll start with Campbellsport, Cedarburg, Hartford, and go oh, on cool. to Mequon, Mayville, uh, West Bend is at the end. So it's, they're easy to find, and each school has their display. And then from these 400 entries, uh, the judges, we have a panel of judges that selects the top art. Uh, and they will be getting awards at noon on Saturday. Can so you purchase anything too, or is it really to view it and see it? The student artwork is not for sale, okay. but the professional artwork is. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That's great. And how about these seminars? Because a lot of people think when they go to a festival and they see all these arts, and there's not going to be educational seminars there, but that's something that you incorporate. Yes, we added the educational seminars last year, and they were mm -hmm. really a big hit. So we have three uh, new ones this year. Uh, the first is uh, Graham Reed from the Museum of Wisconsin Art will be talking about the art of displaying art. And uh, that should be that really is interesting. An art. <laughs> it, it is. It is. The way to display it. Mm -hmm. It's yep. true. Yep. And what then else? we also have uh, Fairy and Miniature Gardens, uh, which uh, Steve Bemis from Upland Springs Floral will be presenting. Uh, fairy and Miniature Gardens are real popular and trendy right now, and uh, people in small spaces especially like uh, that type of thing. So that's the second one. And the third one is the art of garden photography. So if you take pictures and you want to hone those skills. Uh, Drake Fleege from Powder Hill Photography will be explaining how to do that. That's great, yeah. and we just listed the times of those different seminars that you mentioned as you went through it. Backing up just a bit to the photography, which is really neat, that's actually a contest too, right? Yes, uh, we started that three years ago, and this is open not just to students, but anyone. Uh, oh. Anyone in the state of Wisconsin who's not a professional photographer. Mm -hmm. And you just, it's called Give Us Your Best Shot. We're just looking for one photo, your best photo, and you email it to us. Uh, during October and January and then from these entries we select uh, top winners and what's really neat is we display the top 15 at the festival but we also leave them on display at the campus. So our campus was kind of stark when we started and um, now we have or up to 45 photographs that are on display and we keep building and the, the top three will get cash prizes and they will remain on permanent display on cam at the campus. Oh, that's so, neat. I yeah. think so too. And, and what's it like for you with the university? But this is a source of pride for University of Wisconsin, Washington County. Oh yes, it is. And it brings people to the campus and part of what we're about is being a community center as well so it gives people another outlet a lot of these high school students and middle school students would never be able to display their art anywhere else that someone could see it so this mm -hmm. is a chance for many other people from five different counties to have a chance to look at it and some of it is very fine work mm -hmm. how's the parking 
Free parking. <laughs> there'll be plenty of parking. Plus, there's a shuttle for those who can't get around quite as well. Okay. And that will shuttle them from the building to the parking. It's not that far away, but it uh, is up the steps. Yeah. Well, for people who've never been to your campus before, what's the best way to get there? If you're coming from Milwaukee, you come up 41 to 45. You get off at Highway 33, which is in West Bend. It's Washington Street. You go toward the west under the freeway and you turn on to university, go back to the south, and there'll be signs, but we're right on University Drive. Okay. okay. That's great. Well, let's give the information so that you can go out and enjoy the Festival of the Arts. It's at the UW Washington County Campus Festival of Arts. It's going on this Saturday from 10 to 4 at West Bend. The website for more information is Washington.uwc. Dot edu. For more, again, it's free. There's also a make and take area for kids, and all those seminars are free as well, and they're just 30 minutes. So thanks for being here, you guys. Thank you. Nice Thank to you. Have both yeah. of you. Yeah. Thank you. Gotta come sometime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it looks so fun. I love art fairs like that. It looks really, really neat. Thank you fun. so much.